Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Neha Goel working at Eye Care Eye Hospital Noida and today I will be talking to you about intravitreal injections. There are many obvious advantages to using intravitreal injections. They uh, provide a quick and targeted treatment for a variety of conditions. They achieve therapeutic levels locally, thereby minimizing the systemic side effects. The other group of agents commonly used is steroids. Here we have triamcinolone acetonide, which is again off-label. The dexamethasone implant, which is known as Ozodex and which has a longer half-life. And the fluocinolone implant, available as Reticert or Illuvin, which has a further longer half-life. Now these have been approved for the use in diabetic macular edema, macular edema due to retinal vascular occlusions and edema from non-infectious uveitis. So the top video just shows all the steps which I had just enumerated. Povidone iodine in the conjunctival sac is placed with the contact time of about 3 minutes. This patient is receiving intravitreal lucentis. Calipers are used to mark and then again povidone iodine is applied. A 30 gauge needle is used. Uh, to enter the eye in the infrotemporal quadrant and as soon as you see the tip of the needle, you inject the drug in the vitreous cavity. While withdrawing the needle, again you paste, place a povidone iodine soaked applicator and then give a mild pressure. The complications can be drug related or procedure related. The drug related are peculiar to the drug being used. For example, in anti-VEGF agents, you can have an acute rise in blood pressure, non-ocular hemorrhagic events, CVA or MI, though studies are still doubtful whether these are directly related to the drug or not, but the patient must be told beforehand. With intravitreal injections, you must remember certain key points. Always take an informed consent. Aseptic precautions cannot be overemphasized. A face mask and reduced talking during the procedure are important. Povidone iodine preparation of the eyelid margins and the conjunctiva is crucial in prevention of endophthalmitis. An eyelid speculum should be applied carefully and properly so that the lashes do not come in contact with the needle or the injection site. And the use of routine topical antibiotics is still controversial but can be resorted to.